What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on today? Benvenue. Good evening. Buenos noches. No, obrigado and all the good little festivities and words to everybody around the world. This is Mr. Warmack and I'm back in the building again. I'm talking about common sense stuff. I'm talking about stuff that you should pay attention to because let me tell you something, folks. When I said ISIS was paid for, paid, paid bought for by the government a couple years ago and y'all laughed at me, slowly leaking out the government is behind certain aspects of ISIS. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Don't get mad at me because you're only keeping it 50. Now, today I'm going to talk about the IMF. These guys, again. The IMF, uh, like low oil prices, you can quote I'll show you. The IMF projected that the global economy will expand by 3.5%. I told you guys, the IMF said there are going to be problems if the American economy expands because the American is spending at a greater rate than the rest of the world. And how now, if you, if you notice, the government is putting little sliders, or not sliders, putting brakes on the economy, if you notice. The IMF said something about that, and, they, and the Fed agreed with it. The, they, they don't want the United States economy to grow as fast as it's growing. The, the rest of the country, compared to other countries, is not growing. So they wanted the Americans to hold off on the growth. Now, I explained that before. Watch the videos. In the past, if you haven't watched them, because they're really relevant to right now. But, and they said the expansion the, the expansion is led by low oil prices. See, like you said in America, when we had low oil prices, we were we were booming. Okay, the way you think oil prices suddenly went back up. Think about it. Uh, the low oil prices in developed countries. Now, we would think of that. Again, here we go. Low oil in developed countries. Like, like Canada, England, Australia, France, Germany, Spain, the usual, the Italy, the developed countries. If, 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 you're, if, you're, if you have a job and you're making decent money and oil prices are going down, that means you have more money you're probably going to spend on other things. That's where the growth comes in. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us in America, we just had a lot more growth because our oil prices were so low. Like if you go to Europe, they, they, they pay out the... They pay off the wall, zoo and oil, I mean, for, or petrol, as my my British homies used to say. But uh, if you go over there, they pay off the wazoo. We don't, we don't, we think we have a real bad even now, but we don't. But back to lecture, hey, the, the IMF format for the USA projects it, or, or the format we're formatted for about three point one percent growth. Like I get all these statistics. I when I go on the IMF website and I conference with people. And the, the economy for 2015, and because of low oil, America has been has benefited from steady job creations, economic growth, income growth, and improved um, customer confidence, customer and consumer confidence, both of them. Add to the fact the low uh, low interest rates. And a positive and strong dollar, and uh, it, 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 it outweighs the projected growth by even U.S. experts in America. Now, the IMF also said that the uh, U.S. economy, again, will be the negative effects, will be within the negative effects of the dollar. If the dollar rises, it will be having negative effects. So spend it if you got it, but the fact of it is, the IMF does not want us growing at the rate we're growing. Like I said, Obama has done good on this, and I have to say, I know, like I said, my job is not to put choose any politician over one, but Obama is doing a good job on this one, I hate to say. And nobody's congratulating him on the low gas price, or on the four low gas prices. So he got a congratulation for me, because he got low gas prices. So. 
Comedy's bouncing back. Some of us see it. If you don't see it, then you must live. You must live in like a, you must be getting you must be getting welfare or some type of governmental program for the last twenty years. So, I'm out. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.